The Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. Sleeve is brought to you, partially transcribed, by the Kraft Foods Company. Twenty years ago, the Kraft Foods Company introduced a wonderful new salad dressing, a superbly smooth, delicious salad dressing called Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip was so remarkably good that it soon became the most popular salad dressing ever created. Now Miracle Whip outsells the next 20 leading brands of salad dressing combined, and good cooks everywhere depend on it to make their salads better tasting. To bring out the best in your salads, use the one and only Miracle Whip salad dressing. Well, let's see what's doing in Summerfield. A couple of unusual things have happened to the great Gildersleeve today. He received a letter from Aunt Hattie inviting Leroy to come visit for a week, and he's waiting to ride the bus home for a change. Hey, George, I'm going to enjoy this. I haven't ridden a bus in a long time. Well, here it comes, right on schedule. Hey, bus, you have a fare. Here I am. Hello, driver. What are you waving at? Well, I wanted to be sure you'd stop. I always stop at bus stops. (laughs) I didn't know. Well, it isn't often I have an opportunity to ride the bus. How much is the fare this week? Ten cents. Can you change a $20 bill? Oh, no. (laughs) Here's a dime. Just teasing. Wise guy. Well, you and I have the bus all to ourselves. I think I'll sit right here behind you. (laughs) You know why I'm riding the bus today? No. My car's in the garage. (laughs) Nothing wrong with it, you understand. (laughs) Just put it in for the 85,000-mile checkup. (laughs) I believe in taking good care of a car. Don't you? Driver? You hear me? I'm talking to you. What does that sign up there say? A craft cheese festival. (laughs) I mean the one over the bus door. Oh, oh, that one. It says, uh, please don't talk to operator while bus is in motion. That's what it says. Well, I can understand that. It must be annoying having people get on the bus all day and start asking you a lot of questions. How long have you been driving? Seems like quite a while. This may be my last trip. (laughs) Oh? Leaving the city? Just getting on a quieter line. (laughs) <laughs> Where would that be? Well, I don't know how it concerns anybody but me, but I'm taking the run between here and Center City. Say, that concerns me, too. You'll be going through Twin Oaks. Are you going to ride that bus, too? Yeah, no. No, my nephew's going up there to visit his Aunt Hattie. <sighs> It'll be his first day away from home. But it's my idea that little trips like that are good for the boy. You see, I'm his guardian, and I've got a theory... Here's where he... you get off, Commissioner. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Been nice talking to you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, nice. Say, this isn't my stop. He let me off too soon. bus driver made a mistake and put me off ten blocks ahead of my stop. Yes, sir. Where's Leroy? He and Piggy went over to swim in Marvin's pool. Oh? That boy's just like a duck. Yeah, loves the water. Yes, sir. He's just like a duck. After lunch, he ducked out of here and ducked into Marvin's pool. He's just like a duck. (laughs) Well, we had a letter from Aunt Hattie. Yes, sir. He may not like the bad stuff, but he takes to a pool like a duck to water. He's just like a duck. (laughs) Yes, yes. Bertie, we got a letter from Aunt Hattie. Yes, sir. 
She wants Leroy to come spend a week. A whole week? That boy's never been away from home that long. Well, it'll do him good. Oh, but he won't want to go. Nonsense. The best thing that could happen. Yes, sir, but he won't want to go. Leroy's a homeboy. But, Bertie, every boy should get away for a while, meet new people. It'll be a fine experience. Yes, sir, but he won't want to go. Bertie, it's all in the way I present it to him. Come on in, Marvin. Come in, boy. Hi, Alex. Hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. Hello, boys. Leroy, I have great news for you. Yeah? Your favorite aunt, Aunt Hattie, wants you to come down and have a wonderful time for a whole week. I don't want to go. <laughs> but, Leroy, think what you'll be missing. I told you he wouldn't want to go. No, Bertie. What'll I be missing? Well, if you went to Aunt Hattie, she'd let you... Well, you get to... Uh... Well, you know how much fun boys always have when they go visit their aunts. Doing what? <laughs> Marvin, this is a family affair. Who's Aunt Hattie? She's a member of the family. Leroy, you've often spoken about wanting to go to Aunt Hattie's. Why, only last winter you begged to go. Yeah, but that was to get out of school. <laughs> Doesn't your uncle know school's out? Now, Marvin? Uh, just write her, thank her, and tell her I can't make it. Yeah, tell her no soap. Marvin, let's watch it. <laughs> Maybe I'd better write her and tell her myself. Leroy, you don't realize what a nice trip like this would do for you. It helps you grow up. I'm growing here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I mean. It gives you a certain independence, self-assurance. Teaches you self-reliance. But gosh, Uncle, we got the whole summer planned. Yeah, we got the whole summer planned. Big deal, boy. I wouldn't have Marvin and Piggy to play with, and I wouldn't have Marvin's pool. And think how I'd miss you, Unc. Well, naturally, I'd miss you, too. Okay, I won't go. Leroy! What can I do for you this morning? Hey, Peavy, I want a little going away present. Well, I'll give you a little going away present. Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. Well, if you're not going anywhere, I'm not going to give you anything. Leroy's going away. Well, then why are you trying to get a present out of me? Oh, my goodness. Peavy, Leroy's been invited to spend a week with Aunt Hattie, and I want to buy him a present. Oh, very well. Besides, you'll need a new toothbrush, some toothpaste, a couple of combs, gum to chew on the bus. Very well. It'll be a fine trip for Leroy. Sure, Peavy. You remember how much good it did you when your parents sent you away from home for the first time? You didn't have to send me. I ran away. <laughs> Peavy, you wouldn't do that. I'm here to tell you. What'd you do? Decide to join the Navy? No, they wouldn't have me. I was only five at the time. <laughs> Five. And you left home? Well, I didn't like the way they were running things around there. Oh. I gave my father a few suggestions, and he didn't take them, so I packed some things in a paper bag and left. Phoebe, that's a very touching story. Yes, it is. It was snowing at the time. Snowing? Well, they must have scoured the countryside for you. No, it wasn't too hard to follow my track. Where'd you go? Out behind the barn. <laughs> yeah. Cute. I had chance enough not to get too far away from home. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean, Peavy. I think Leroy considered this a dark moment for a while. He doesn't want to leave home. My, my. It's going to be rough on him. His first time away from home. Boy's going to be homesick. Mm, I imagine he'll miss Bertie's cooking. Well, that isn't all, Peavy. He'd rather be with me than out there with a lot of cows and chickens. No, oh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> my boy, I guess Bertie's packed everything. Yeah. What do you think of this nice camera your uncle bought for you? It's okay. Here's plenty of film. When you get to Aunt Hattie's, you'll want to take pictures. Pictures of what? We got an album full of Aunt Hattie. <laughs> well, you'll find interesting subjects. We'd better be on our way to the bus station now. Tell Bertie goodbye. Is he ready to leave now? Yeah, we're on our way, Bertie. Come along, Leroy. Okay. Goodbye, Bertie. 
Goodbye, Leroy. Have a good time. Okay. Bertie, let's not start weeping. I ain't weeping. I know he's going to have a good time. <laughs> Won't you, Leroy? Yeah, I'll have a good time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Goodbye, Leroy. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. Be a good boy. I will. Goodbye, Bertie. <laughs> He's homesick before he gets out of the house. <laughs> well, the man said the bus will be cooling up here any minute, Leroy. Go to Aunt Hattie's when I'm having so much fun at home. Now, my boy, you don't realize it, but you're just afraid you're going to miss us. Most boys would be glad to have this opportunity. Ah! <laughs> well, I'll miss you, too. But you don't see me trying to keep you here at home. I'll say not. Yeah, here comes the bus. Oh, it's a nice big one. Yeah. All aboard for Salinas, Forestburg, Twin Oaks, and Center City. Oh, well, I know that driver. Rode home with him the other day. Well, I guess I better get on. Goodbye, Aunt. Hey, hey, wait a minute, Leroy. Let all the people get on first. It'll give us a little more time to talk. What's there to talk about? Well, uh, this is the first time you left me. We must have a lot to talk about. Well, I can't think of anything, so I'll write you, Aunt. Well, that would only remind you of home and upset you. <laughs> Just forget the writing and have a good time. Whatever you say, Aunt. All aboard. Let's go. Uh, just a minute, driver. Oh, it's you. <laughs> yeah, this is my nephew I told you about. He's going to his Aunt Hattie's. Well, let's go. So don't let him off until he gets to Twin Oaks. Well, I can't let him off if you don't let him on. <laughs> <laughs> I better get on, Uncle. Yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's check everything. Well, what's there to check? I've got my bag and my ticket. Yeah. Well, have a good time, my boy. He'll have a good time. Let him get on. I'll be seeing you. Uh, Leroy? Yeah? You don't really have to go, you know. You can change your mind and stay with your old uncle if you want to. And I thought the city run was tough. <laughs> no, driver. What do you say, Leroy? You want to back out? It's for a whole week, you know. What the heck? I'm already on the bus now. Goodbye, Aunt. Goodbye, Leroy. Goodbye. <laughs> Can't help feeling sorry for the boy. We've never been separated before. <laughs> the Great Gildersleeve will be back in just a minute. Getting three nourishing meals on the table day in and day out is never easy, but come summer it can be harder than ever. Until, that is, you discover the marvelous variety of soup and salad meals you can fix easily. Just be sure your salad is a hearty one and delicious. Be sure it has the bright, sparkling flavor you want it to have. Make it with Miracle Whip salad dressing. Miracle Whip has a wonderful flavor, a lively, teasing flavor, a peppy flavor that's just sharp enough. And it's a flavor you won't find in any other salad dressing. That's because Miracle Whip is made from a secret craft recipe. A recipe that was created to give you the best qualities of good old-fashioned boil dressing and fine, rich mayonnaise. And Miracle Whip is blended carefully with special beaters to give this salad dressing just the creamy, thick texture and satin smoothness you want. Smooth and delicious, it's no wonder Miracle Whip has become the most popular salad dressing ever created. Actually, Miracle Whip outsells the next 20 leading brands of salad dressing combined. Try it yourself. See how much better tasting your salads can be when you make them with Miracle Whip. Fruit or vegetable, meat or seafood, plain or fancy, they'll be delicious. Tomorrow, get a jar of America's favorite salad dressing, Miracle Whip, made only by Kraft. <laughs> Let's see how the great Gildersleeve is getting along without his nephew, Leroy. A 
couple of days ago, he insisted the boy go visit Aunt Hattie for a week, reasoning that to stay away from home would be good for him. We don't know how Leroy's faring at Aunt Hattie's, but it's a little quiet around the great Gildersleeve's house. <laughs> yes, sir. What's that, Bertie? That says a mouthful. What do you mean? You're missing that boy. Well, I might have waited a few years longer before sending him away for a whole week. After all, he's just an inexperienced little boy. Mr. Gillsleeve, I thought that's why you sent him away, to get experience. Well? That's what you said. Yeah. Aunt Hattie always has a lot of trees full of green apples. I hope Leroy uses good judgment. <laughs> Bertie, it's no laughing matter. What does Aunt Hattie know about boys? I don't know, but I know something about Miss Gillsleeve. No? You got him to go when he didn't want to go, and now that he's gone, you're gone because you got him to go. No, Bertie. Yes, Miss Gillsleeve goes overboard getting him to go, and when he didn't want to go, and now that he's gone, you're going to pieces because you got him to go. <laughs> Makes a difference with Leroy away. Well, the thing to do is not think about it. I do wish I hadn't told him not to write. Hello, Phoebe. Well, hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. What can I do for you this evening? Nothing, Phoebe. I just got tired sitting around the house. Thought I'd come down here and loaf a while. Very well. I guess you miss Leroy. He's only been gone two days. That's what I say. Well, I imagine he's pretty homesick by this time. He didn't say anything about it on his postcard. You got a postcard from him? It came this morning. Of course, I guess you got a letter. Yeah, well, what does he say, Petey? How is the boy? You mean you don't know? Well, it, I just wonder if he wrote you the same thing. How's okay. that? What I mean is, the boy might not want me to worry. Is there anything for me to worry about? Not in my postcard. Well, what does he say? Read it, Peavy. Yeah, it says, Mr. Richard Peavy, care of Peavy's Pharmacy, 2503. Not right? that side. <laughs> oh, you want me to read the other side? Yes, yes. It starts off. Hi, Mr. Peavy. I rode a horse today and milked a cow and ate some green apples. Whoop. <laughs> I knew it. What's the matter, Mr. Gildersleeve? Go on, Peavy. That's all there is, except yours truly, Leroy. Oh, my goodness. You might at least let us know how he is. He didn't tell you in his letter. I haven't had a letter. My, my, I always thought Leroy was fairly fond of you. He is. He's very fond of me, but I told him not to write. That's a silly thing to do. No, it isn't. I didn't want him to get homesick. Well, he doesn't say anything about being homesick. He wouldn't tell you anything, Peavy. He tells me more than he tells you. <laughs> He does not. He wrote me a card, didn't he? Well, you had no business asking him to write. I didn't ask him. He wrote me because he likes me. He doesn't like you nearly as much as he likes me. Jealous. Who's jealous? <laughs> I've been closer to that boy than anybody. I'm like a father to him. Windbag. Peavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jealous me. Here comes a friend of Leroy. Oh? Hi, Mr. Peavy. Oh, hello, Piggy. Hello, Piggy. Hi, Mr. Gillisleeve. What do you hear from Leroy? Nothing. Well? I got a card from him. You, too? It seems Mr. Gildersleeve hadn't heard from him. No kidding. I thought I'd write to Mr. Gildersleeve first. Yeah, well, what does Leroy say, Piggy? Imagine Leroy not writing to you. Hey, Piggy, what does he say? Gosh, when I went to the Boy Scout Jamboree, my father was the first one I wrote to. Yeah, well, Leroy and I had an understanding about that. What does he say? When he left, he said he was going to write to all of his friends, but I... I guess that doesn't include you. You're only an uncle. Oh. <laughs> Piggy, what does Leroy's card say? Oh, I got it right here. He says, uh, Hi, Piggy. I rode a horse today and milked a cow and ate some green apples. Zeke. <laughs> Leroy, too, Piggy. You want to hear what he said? You're all right, Piggy. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Mr. 
Gildersleeve? No, thanks, Bertie. Not this morning. More eggs? No. Plenty of eggs? No, thanks. You don't want them? I don't want them. Plenty of them? Yes, yes. No use letting them go to waste. Bertie, I've had all the breakfast I want. Yes, sir. With Leroy gone, I guess I cooked too many eggs. You sure you... No, Bertie. If Leroy was here, he'd eat them. Oh, dear. Bertie, if you don't mind, let's try not to think about how much we miss Leroy. Yes, sir. We won't think any more about it. Oh, there's a the mailman. I'll get it. You never mind, Bertie. I'll get it. I got it! <laughs> Anything from uh, Leroy? No, sir. Just some letters with windows. Oh, just bills. You ain't expecting anything from Leroy, are you? Well, he's written everybody else. I thought he might break down. Ah, it! Who would be coming by at this hour? Hi, Bertie. Hello there, Marvin. Come in. I'm here. Hey. Hey, Marvin. Somebody comes in here and says, what do you hear from Leroy? Hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. Hello, Marvin. What do you hear from Leroy? Oh. <laughs> Leroy hasn't written us, Marvin. He hasn't? Oh, yeah, that's funny. No, it isn't funny. Ain't accusing anybody, but for some reason, nobody in this house ain't heard a thing from Leroy. What's she mad about? Yeah, she's a little upset because Leroy hasn't written. What do you want to know about him? What? Right. I got the dope right here. You have? Yeah, he wrote me a letter. <laughs> a letter? What does it say? Read it. Give me time. Yeah, oh, excuse me. Uh, go ahead, Myron. <clears throat> he says... Hi, Marvin. That's the way he starts out. Yes, yes. He says, Hi, Marvin. I rode a horse today, milked a cow, and ate some green apples. <laughs> what a letter. Did you get a better one? No, but by George, I'm going to write a better one. And so, my boy, I wanted you to know... How much I've missed you. And I never want you to leave me again. Hurry home, your devoted uncle. Now, let me see what I said. I can't mail this. I shouldn't let him know how I feel. The important thing is to keep up his spirit. Why don't I call the poor little kid? Sure. Sure, I'll call him long distance. And if he wants to come home, I'll let him. <laughs> By now, he's probably just moping around the house anyway. Hello? Leroy. Who is it? It's me, your uncle. How are you, my boy? Bless you. I'm okay. How are you and Bertie? Great. I was just thinking, my boy, if you want to come home a little early, you can come home tomorrow. Well, gosh, Unc, I was going swimming tomorrow in the duck pond. You, well, you can always go swimming here. But this is more fun. Now, Leroy, remember how you hated to leave Marvin's pool? Yeah, but Marvin's pool doesn't have frogs. Oh. <laughs> well, I just thought you might be anxious to get home. Oh, never mind. Say hello to Aunt Hattie. Sure. Say hello to Bertie. Yeah, I will. Well, so long, huh? Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> You seem a little blue since you talked to Leroy on the phone yesterday. Well, Bertie, I won't deny that I'm looking forward to his return tomorrow. Yes, it's just one more day to go. Of course, the boy seemed to be having such a good time. I'm not going to let him know how much I missed him. He couldn't tell over the phone, huh? Bertie, I can hide my feelings like a turtle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I have to, because I want Leroy to feel free to take other trips in the future. It's part of his education. Yes, sir. Well, I guess I'll get out of the office and get things out of the way so I can stay home with the boy tomorrow. Yes, sir. I'll see it! Yeah. I'll see who it is, Bertie. I'm on my way out anyhow. Hi, huh? Leroy! 
my, my boy, what a wonderful surprise. Yeah. Is that Mr. Arthur? Yeah, he's home. A day early. Yeah. Hi, Bertie. Leroy, am I glad to see you. Let me look at you. Why, you've grown. Gosh, in six days? <laughs> <laughs> well, I believe you have, Leroy. Come on, let's put your things in the den. We didn't expect you till tomorrow. Well, when I talked to Uncle, I kind of got the feeling he was lonesome and wanted me to come home. Me? <laughs> Why, we're doing fine. You weren't we, Bertie? Oh, sure. I guess I was the one who wasn't doing so good. I missed you, Unc. You did? Well, I guess I'd better get to the office. <laughs> What's the matter, Unc? Well, I guess I picked up a little summer cold. Better get to the office. See you later, my boy. He wanted to get out of here with that summer cold. Well, he didn't even wait to pick up his papers and take his briefcase. Hey, here's a letter on his desk addressed to me. Oh? Dear Leroy. And I never want you to leave me again. Oh, Bertie, Uncle really missed me. He sure did. That man didn't have no summer cold. That coal was all in his head. <laughs> the Great Gildersleeve will be with us again in just 30 seconds. Mmm, there's just nothing like good potato salad. And there's nothing for good potato salad like Miracle Whip salad dressing. Just try it. See what a wonderful, peppy flavor Miracle Whip gives that salad. It's a flavor millions of folks call just exactly right. And it's different, a flavor no other salad dressing has. See for yourself how delicious Miracle Whip is in potato salad and on gelatin salads, fruit salads, and meat and seafood salads, too. Get it tomorrow, the one and only Miracle Whip salad dressing. <laughs> Gosh, it sure is good to be home, Monk. Sitting on the porch, just you and me. Yeah. Good to have you back, my boy. You really missed me, didn't you, Unc? Well, yes, by George, I did. Gosh, I can't get over that letter you wrote me. The nice things you said. <laughs> you never wanted me to leave you again. Right from the heart, huh, Unc? Yes, indeed. And the part I like best is where you said about my being away from you made you realize I was such a fine boy, you could never do enough for me. Well, that... Well, so knowing how you feel, I figured out something you can do for me at lunchtime. Sure, I'll take you to lunch, my boy. Oh, I don't want you to take me to lunch. I want you to buy me a motorbike. Oh, Roy, I can't win. Good night, folks. By John Elliott and Andy White, and it's partially transcribed. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley, Stuffy Singer, Lillian Randolph, Jeff Kirkpatrick, and Dick LeGrand. Musical composition by Jack Meekin. This is John Easton saying goodnight for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next Wednesday and every Wednesday for the further adventures of the great Gildersleeve. Like sandwiches? Well, just about everyone when they're made with Miracle Sandwich Spread. Miracle Sandwich Spread gives sandwiches a wonderfully different, delicious flavor. Created by Kraft, Miracle Sandwich Spread is made from America's favorite salad dressing, Miracle Whip, and spicy relishes. For quick, easy, thrifty sandwiches, use Miracle Sandwich Spread alone between slices of bread, or use it along with the meat or sandwich cheese filling you like best. Get it tomorrow. Miracle Sandwich Spread.
Tonight, enjoy the best of Groucho on NBC. Mm-hmm. 